Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today we have an edition of Tom's Toolbox. And in today's episode, we have teamed up with the engineers from Bodine Electric Company to provide you with an introduction to fractional horsepower gear motors. By that, we mean less than one horsepower. Could be half a horse, could be three quarters of a horse, it could be a quarter horse, which would be found at the racetrack. Thank you. At the most basic, a gear motor is a small motor and gear reducer that have been designed to be a single unit. Now, this construction provides many benefits, and something like gear motors eliminate the guesswork of sizing a motor and gear reducer separately. That's not all. Perfect alignment between motor and gear head results in quiet operation and longer life. Gear motors generate high output torque, and gear motors eliminate the need for motor gear head couplings. Now, to select the best gear motor for the job, we need to look at the different types of gearing and gearhead styles. So, starting over here on my left, this is what we call a parallel shaft gear motor, and we got a little section cut away right here. Now, the drive shaft of the gear motor, as you can see, parallel to that of the motor shaft. Parallel shaft gear motors usually employ spur and or helical gearing. Now, this is the most common and most economical type of gear motor used in today's industrial applications. Next up, this is a right angle gear motor. Now you'll notice that the axis of the output shaft is at a right angle to the motor shaft axis. And trust me when I say that is 90 degrees, otherwise known as a right angle. It, right angle gear motors are especially desirable in applications with limited mounting space or where a parallel shaft gear motor just won't fit because of the length. The worm gearing in this gearbox can be self-locking, meaning the gearbox cannot be back driven when the power is turned off. Now this is a benefit in applications where a conveyor operates on an incline. And then finally what we have here, this is a planetary gear motor. Now inside the gear head, which is right here, each stage of gearing consists of a sun gear. And here's a little cutaway section right here so you can see it. It's multiple planet gears and a planet carrier assembly and all of it housed in a ring gear. Now compared to a parallel shaft gear motor, a planetary gear motor with the same output torque could be as much as 50% smaller in diameter and substantially lighter. But these gear motors often cost more and can be noisier. Okay, now that we've talked about the kinds of gear heads, let's look at the other half of the gear motor. This is an AC induction motor right here. They're economical to run and maintain. They usually produce less heat than their permanent magnet DC counterparts. AC motors are great for fixed and variable speed applications. Next up, permanent magnet DC motors. That's right here in this cutaway. Now they have a linear speed torque performance characteristic and they're simple to install and operate. PMDC motors are used in everything from industrial conveyors, medical devices, to low voltage solar applications. Finally, we've got the brushless DC motor. Now the brushless DC motor combines the speed torque characteristics of a PMDC motor with the winding design of an AC three-phase motor and a permanent magnet rotor. The BLDC motors are virtually maintenance-free. I mean, they're excellent for applications that start and stop frequently. All three motor types have their unique benefits depending upon the available power, loading, cost targets, or maintenance requirements. And with the right gear head, all three motors can power applications such as medical and packaging equipment, conveyors, and a host of other industrial automation machines, like the tunnel I'm digging underneath my home so I can go to my neighbor's house without crossing the street. It's a real busy intersection. Hey, if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, want to figure out what's the best motor for the application I have, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, talk to the representative, and I promise you, they will help you out. Now, as you saw today, I didn't put on any PPE because we were just talking about motors. But if you're going to install a motor, maybe repair a motor, or whatever the job is that you're doing, make sure you wear the proper PPE. Could be glasses, could be gloves, could be a full hazmat suit. Doesn't matter. You want to be safe. That's priority number one. Priority number two, that's watching more of Tom's Toolbox videos or maybe some of those MI how-tos. And you can find those at Motion Industries. I'm Tom Clark, your host. Thank you so much for watching today.